This week on Naked in Thailand, we go for a coffee. We check out some amazing classic cars, some incredible motorcycles. This week's all about automotive porn. Welcome back guys today, which is a lovely sunny Sunday. We've come out to a place around 24 kilometers outside of Chiang Mai city center, just off the 118 called Coffee Terminal. Now, if you're looking for somewhere where you can come and have a nice coffee, some lunch, and look at some sexy machinery, follow us today guys, we're gonna show you something. Chiang Mai over the last several years has become really famous uh, for its coffee. When you're in the city or around the city, you'll find everything from huge chains like Starbucks, Amazon and Black Canyon to little uh, boutique places, little quirky and bohemian little cafes, and coffee shops. But that's not really our scene and that's why we've come here today. But it's not only the coffee that we've come here for today. This place has a, an amazing collection of classic cars and bikes and lots of automotive memorabilia. So let's go and check that out. Right then, let's start off with some motorcycles. The owner of this place has got, you know, a lot of different bikes, a lot of different cars. Now, some of the bikes that you'll find here are these, for example, classic Harley Davidsons from the late 1930s onwards. Now, my personal favorite is the orange one, but hey, have a look guys, tell me what you guys think. These bikes are so old, we don't even understand them. I can't find out where the accelerator is. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> So we have something slightly more modern here. Um, you know, Harley Davidson in Thailand, as you would know if you, when you come here, or if you're already here, is a very, very big community here. Um, you know, for the Thais as well as for the foreigners, if you can afford it, that is. <laughs> and over here, we've got uh, another three bikes. Again, a little bit more modern, most of them. The Triumph uh, Street Scrambler, which that scrambles my mind because it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Beautiful bike though. And there in the back, with the Kawasaki Ninja 1400. I don't know what you would do with that out here in Thailand, apart from go really fast in a straight line, but it is a beautiful bike. It's iconic. Look at that. And it even makes Mark look good. <laughs> and finally here, we've got the BMW GS 1200 Adventure Touring Bike. It's not a classic yet, but I suppose it might be one day. And surprisingly, these are actually incredibly popular out here as well. It's a huge bike. Um, it costs a huge amount, but you will see them uh, quite often out here in Thailand. We've had a quick look on the bikes in this room and I'm, I was just having a, a, a bit of a think about this. I'm saying we've got eight bikes in this room, right? Some of these bikes are from the 1930s. Now, if you're supposed to have a little bit of a guesstimate to see how much the bikes in this room alone are worth, I'd pretty much say that uh, I could easily buy a house and a nice car for the money that's wrapped up in these classic bikes here. But anyway, let's go have a look at some cars. Whoa. <laughs> Just before we go into the main car exhibit there, we found this little beauty sitting in a corner. It's an old Morris 8, look at that. Beautiful. Do you know what this car makes me think of? Uh, do you remember Wacky Races, the cartoon with Dick Dastardly and that? I, I remember Motley. Yeah, yeah, Motley. Motley. <laughs> this car reminds me of Wacky Races. I'm expecting the Ant Hill mob to come flying out or maybe because of the color Penelope pit stop. What a beauty, look at that. And over here we've got, you know, an old British classic here, Triumph Spitfire Mark III. What an absolute beauty. That is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And to find one here in Thailand, very rare. Now, this is the car section of Coffee Terminal. Now, 
This for me is my personal favourite. Um, these are where all the classic cars are, where, where the owner's classic cars are. Now all of these cars here, he's worked on himself, um, he's restored them and currently maintains them all. So come and have a look at some of the cars. These are creme de la creme classic cars. This is my jam. This is a bad boy yeah. right here, really. Wow. This makes me laugh because any moment now I'm expecting a kind of 20-something John Travolta and all his mates to come jumping out and start singing and dancing around the car. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the best shoes ever. Good for parents because you can get it. You can hear where your kid is. It can't go anywhere here. Yeah, Some of the telltale signs of a classic motor: an oil leak. <laughs> here we have the Mercedes Unimog. Now this truck has been used for positively everything, from uh, military applications, firefighting. You can even find these in the Dakar Rally. Absolute legend of a truck. Go anywhere. Do anything. Unimog. I'm not even going to pretend to know what this is. All I know is it is really cool. Love it to bits. If you happen to know what it is, maybe you're a car or a truck enthusiast, please drop it in the comments below. Let us know. I just love it. What do you think? Yeah, I love the rims. Yeah. That's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's awesome. I would cruise around town on that. And plus, there's plenty of room for the bikes on the back. See, it's functional as well. Cool. Look at the size of that. <laughs> And one of the best things about the location of the coffee terminal is it's right on that Route 118 that we mentioned earlier. And now this here in the north of Thailand has become a, one of my favorite roads to ride on actually up towards Chiang Rai and Payao. It was under a lot of construction for many years and now that it's finished, well, until the next time. So if you're here or you're coming over, this has got to be on your list of things to do, roads to ride for sure. So what's your favorite car here? Car here, oh, it's quite a tough one. Um, I think it'd be one of these two, either the Mustang or the Dodge, because I just think cruising around in one of these, yeah. that's going to make you feel good. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, me personally, yeah. this has to be my favorite. Um, Mac 1. Yep. I used to work on this car right. when I was young with my neighbor. Wow. And it brings back a lot of memories for me. Yeah, it was a fastback, mind you, it wasn't a convertible, but. Yeah. You know, as a kid of around 19 years old and you're working on helping somebody to fix a car like this, yeah. it sticks in your memory. Wow, yeah. yeah. And, I haven't, and, and the funny, I haven't seen one in the flesh since. All right. So for me, definitely the Mustang. Yeah, it's, it's just sexual. <laughs> that is the only word I can think of yeah. for these cars, yeah. Do you know where uh, I actually used to own a classic car? Was you, what you have? Yeah, nothing quite of this caliber, but I had a 1986 Ford Capri Mark III. Two litre or three litre? Two litre, yeah. Two litre. It was originally a laser, yeah, and then yeah. I sort of converted it myself. We worked on it and had things like Mark II bumpers on it instead of the Mark III, which were plastic. We put the old metal ones on, had it fully resprayed everything, uh, and had the engine worked on by a Pinto specialist as well. Ooh. high lift cam and everything and it was a proper hoon machine it was just so much fun i did used to put the back end out on roundabouts and stuff you know it was a lot of fun and it was my pride and joy until i moved out here i had to get rid of it so back in 2016 off it went and i was only the second owner from new as well so what did you prefer then mate driving or riding oh yeah well do you know actually i've only driven a car maybe twice here in thailand Wow. That's it, yeah. Just been on the bikes ever since out here, yeah. There you have it, folks. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> it's hard to actually understand just how rare it is to see these kind of cars here in Thailand. Uh, back in the West, like through Europe, America, Canada, I guess even in Australia, New Zealand and everything, with classic car shows, you're going to see cars like this. But here in Thailand, and especially up here in the North, this is just 
It's amazing to see something like this here. We've had a look at some of the amazing machines that we've got here, but don't forget, this is actually a place where we can have a coffee and something to eat. So let's go check out the coffee and see what this place is all about. My mum's a good artist, uh, see if it's rubbed off on me at all. So I've never, I don't think I've ever, I've never made a coffee before, a latte or anything. I just remember watching people do it a little bit. So right, there's a milk, there's a first part. How do you actually do the art part? I don't know. I think we need some of the froth, don't we? Right, so get that in there. Oh, look, there it is, right, okay. Here's Mark's then. Well, the coffee's actually very good. It's certainly a lot better than my uh, coffee art anyway. Very good. Coffee from Chiang Rai up in the mountains, the hills of Chiang Rai, lovely. Serve. Coffee from wow. Kevin. Thank you very much, Squire. Yes. Did, Co did, did Kevin actually make this one, yes? Yeah, I actually made them, yeah. <laughs> See what you think. Thanks, Norm. Not bad. I mean, I'm no co coffee connoisseur, but that is a good cup of coffee, right? It's worth the ride on the 118. Yeah, right. Not just because I made it, but uh, that's actually <laughs> a pretty good coffee. <laughs> Cheers. So there you go. If you're into cars and bikes, a good ride or a good drive up the road, a decent coffee and some lovely food, this is the place to come. Coffee Terminal 118. Check it out. Guys, we've had a great time here today looking on the vehicle porn drinking lovely coffee and having some food. Um, if you are already in Chiang Mai, don't forget, come and check this place out. If you're into your vehicles and you know, your, your automotive stuff and great coffee, come here and have a go. Thank you very much for watching guys. Stay safe.